Hi, this is Robert Harrison, Training Director here at NLP Institute of California. Now let's talk about the presupposition, there is no failure, only feedback. Now failure often kind of has this heavier connotation, kind of implies that it's over, that it's final, that it's done. And oftentimes when people are referring to failure, they're referring to it in reference to themselves, which is very different than referring to a failure in reference to a behavior. Notice the difference between saying, boy, I really failed at that versus, boy, that didn't work, which is more focused on the behavior or that behavior failed. That's very different than saying, I failed at that behavior. One is a statement about the person's identity and kind of connected to the self-worth. One is more an observation about a behavior. So in NLP, one of the kind of ways of redirecting the attention is away from that judgment, because in NLP, there is no judgment. We don't look at anything as right or wrong or good or bad. We look at it as useful or not useful, and then where, when, and with whom. And so because your nervous system is designed to avoid pain and designed to seek pleasure, if you make the act of looking at what you're doing or looking at your behavior, or looking back at your day or your last week or your last month or your last year even, and if you have a habit of criticizing yourself and being hard on yourself and getting down on yourself about the things you should have done that you didn't do, what you're really doing in your nervous system is you're associating pain with looking at what you're doing and tracking your work. Not a good idea because you're going to avoid it. How do you think people get 300 pounds, 400 pounds? It requires mindless eating, which means that you're eating and you're not noticing the effects on the body. You're not feeling the extreme discomfort that it's putting the body through. And so you want to stay engaged with what we call a feedback loop. Now the difference between failure and feedback is feedback is observation without the added judgment. When we're looking at feedback, we are being curious. We're being curious. When we're looking at something as pass or fail, we're judging it. Curiosity is observation without the judgment. And so we want to make everything, including our emotional states, seem like a science experiment. Right? If you have baking soda and you add vinegar to it, you get more of that volcanic reaction. If you add more vinegar, you get more of the volcanic reaction. Less vinegar, less of the volcanic reaction. Well, imagine how it would be if you looked at your emotional states and moods very much the same way. Well, if I picture it this way and I say this to myself, I feel this way about it. That's interesting. And when I picture it this way and I say this to myself about it, I feel this way. And this attitude of curiosity will allow you to stay engaged with a feedback loop where you're noticing and learning from what you're doing, what's working and what's not working by noticing where it's useful and where it's not. So play with this and really take on this attitude as if it was a belief that there is no failure, only feedback.